clue. Reason? There are many powerful people involved in the poaching case and nobody wants to come forward and tarnish their image. With great difficulty, the team is able to pinpoint Hi, I'm Rajesh and welcome to another edition of Vlogging with Rajesh G. How are you guys doing today? I hope all of you are doing great and I hope it continues that way. Today, I'll review the web series Poacher, which was released on the OTT platform some time back. Poacher is a story of elephant poaching going unnoticed in the state of Kerala. And the officials come to know about it through a newspaper article which was published in the leading daily. It's then that the team gets into action to identify as well as to arrest the poachers or to bring them to the books. The team is headed by Devendu Bhattacharya and his team members are Nimisha Sajjan and Roshan Matthew where Nimisha is a little aggressive in her approach and Roshan is very cautious in all the moves but Roshan has all the right contacts at the right place which is very much important when carrying out an investigation like this. The team is finding it very difficult to find a clue. Reason? There are many powerful people involved in the poaching case and nobody wants to come forward and tarnish their image. With great difficulty, the team is able to pinpoint a man but before the team could actually reach him, he gives them a miss. But there they find another vital clue about a lady from Delhi who is actually or directly involved in this case. But this lady is a very big name in Delhi's social circuit and she runs an artifact shop which is frequented by the rich and the powerful people across the globe. And the team has to be extremely cautious while approaching this lady because they don't have any vital clue about her as of now. Who was this lady from Delhi? Will Nimisha be able to arrest this lady or this lady be able to walk scot-free? Will the poachers we ever put behind the bars? The answers to all these questions is in the web series Poacher, which is currently streaming on the OTT platform Amazon Prime Videos. This web series is of 8 episodes and the duration of each episode is close to 40 to 45 minutes. Nimisha Sajjan is the protagonist in this particular series and she's a person who can't withstand any kind of cruelty meted out to animals and she will not sit idle until the culprits are put to task. Because of her obsession to her job, at times she had put her life in danger too. Roshan Matthew is a person who is struggling hard to maintain a balance between his professional as well as personal life at the same time. But his passion for his job always keeps him at his toes at home. And let me tell you, there are certain scenes in this web series where he has done the balancing act between these two situations phenomenally well, where he's in a tight spot and those scenes are worth a watch. My personal rating for this particular web series would be 3 out of 5 because I personally felt that, you know, this web series was a little stretchy. First of all, there was 8 episodes. The duration of each episode was close to 45 minutes. But I personally felt that this entire web series could have been wrapped in 4 to 5 episodes in the same duration of 45 minutes because at a couple of places it was a little boring for me. But the performance, the storyline, everything was phenomenal. So I hope uh, this video was entertaining for you. If that's the case, like the video, share the video, post your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So until my next video. Bye-bye, take care and spread the power of positivity around you.